Oh, boys. <laughs> uh, well, well, I'm sorry. We are a bit late to the first game, and oh, it was a bad, it was a bad game to miss something because things are crazy here. Um. Uh, yeah. Let me get my bearings. Um, we missed just two and a half minutes, but in these two and a half minutes, Moon crept the shop, lost the Ancient of War, lost the Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter was denied by the creeps. The Lich was aggressive, like I said, killed the Ancient of War, and uh, now he's almost level two, but so is the Demon Hunter. Moon is making a new Ancient of War stuck on tier one. Sheik also stuck on tier one. Yeah, sorry that I missed. It was only two and a half minutes though, but things were going crazy. Um, yeah, and now we are again in unusual territory. Oh, well, maybe we are in usual territory. This one might seem familiar. Moon, by the way, pretty cool. He's going Immolation and Evasion because he's got the Wand of Mana Steel. So he can burn the Lich anyways. The new wand is super good. And there you can see it. Minus 65 mana. And you can do that again. I know I'm sort of memeing, or people think I'm memeing about this. But I seriously think the new wand of Mana Stealing is OP. Like, seriously. Overpowered. In this game, it is looking very helpful indeed. Alright, emulation turned on. One of Mana Seal again. Village has no mana for a long time. Oh my god, so much damage. The ghouls are taking a ton of damage. Sheik is committing though. He's committing to the demon hunters around. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the ghouls. The ghouls are all dead. The demon hunter though, what about him? What about him? Miss from the lich. Quite a few ghouls died. New Moonwell is coming up in the back. No tech here for Moon. No Hunter's Hall either, though. Wisp comes out for the detonate. Healing the demon, of course, is hard now, but he got the level 3. Town is under siege. I think he should go evasion, right? Yeah. Our player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Can't believe he held that surrounded. Against the new and improved immolation. And I think that's an easy hold now. Question is... How scary will these towers be? I like the early Ancient of War, lots of damage here from the right clicks. Demon Hunter Emulation looking really good this time. Glitch has the boot so he can run away from the demon. But didn't have mana for super long. Oh, detonate again. The detonates here have been perfect. Lich out of mana. The Wand of Mana Stealing made a big difference here. But it's not over yet. Two more relics coming. The Acolytes are still repairing. He should try to take out the repairing wisps. Those are, of course, easy to snipe just with the Nerok Towers. But the Demon now also has the boots. The slow must always be on the Demon, otherwise he's gonna chase down the Lich and kill him easily. I think it's gonna get tough for the Nile once daytime hits. Oh, wisps trying to block, trying to detonate, gets the detonate off. And Lich has to run away. Getting okay, chased still by the Demon Hunter. Boots on both sides. Archer's getting barely safe, but two narrow towers are still standing here. Well, Archer dies. Traded for a ghoul. Oh, Demon Hunter trying to get in front, but the boots save the Lich this time. Sheik earlier in the tower push, he transitioned into tier 2 at some point, and then got the Naga. But this time around, it's just tier 1. Just mass. Ghouls flooding in. Over and over. And this time the shop should finish. Heal scroll trying to save the archers. I think that kind of failed. Oh, Demon is gonna get level 4 here. He's one more kill. One kill for the level 4. Oh, chasing after the Lich. Still he's got the invul potion. Pops at the right time. Demon has to TP out. There's a bit of Moon just left. 
but just a little. Wait, is this working? For Sheik? He's got the shop, that's a huge help. Now he had new skellies and... Should also go for a ritual dagger here, for sure. There it is. Dude, there's no Munchers anymore. The narrow Towers. Dude, twice in one day with the narrow brush. Are you kidding me? There's almost a Nova. The demon is stuck back here. He's almost level 4, but not there yet. And once he walks forward, he's gonna get slowed by the narrow. He's dead. He's dead. GG. Sheik does it again. <laughs> this is the second time with the tower push against Moon. Oh, boys. Get ready in your ladder games, folks. You know what's coming. I can't believe that that worked twice. Now, to be fair, though, Moon did take a risk with that creep route early. We didn't quite get to see it, but the demon died, the Ancient of War died, the Lich got the rest of the camp. It was a bit of a problem. Sheik now one map away. From the top eight, he could eliminate Moon. But he has to win two more times. Moon seems a bit shook. Crazy. Dude, just crazy. <laughs> oh, thank you, by the way, Sparta with the resub. Much appreciated. <laughs> Dude, these have been some fun games today. I still feel like Moon will do it in the end, though, right? I mean, at some point, he has to stop losing to the cheese. Sooner or later. Surely. Surely. But hey, Sheik's up 1-0. And of course, earlier here, Sheik won as well with guards. This was the most disappointing loss by Moon. Because this was just a scouting mistake. He needs to scout the Gargs and then play properly against the Gargs. Like I said earlier, Naga second is perhaps not the right call. Although you can play Naga second. But more importantly, you have to go for a quick expansion on tier 2 and not go tier 3 at all. We will pull. Oh, no way! Ancient of War cancelled. Uh-uh! What's the hero? What's the hero? Bruh. Keeper? I'm holding my breath. DK. Okay. 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 What now? What now? <laughs> Crazy hands. Dude, how amazing is Sheik? Sheik, definitely the player of the day. He's playing the creeps again. No. 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 I don't think it will be enough for the cancel, but it's going to be a lot of damage. Needs to repair this. The DK can just instant harass, right? Because the Ancient of War is so late. <laughs> Dude. Good start for Sheik. Very good start. But this is still Moon. Oh! Ancient of War attacked the creeps! Oh no! That was not intentional. That was not intentional. The DK could steal every single last hit here. Every single one. And maybe even kill the Ancient of War. But of course there's no skellies. Oh. 
Oh my god, the engine of war, no! Trying to wake up the creeps. Has to go entangle first. To deal with the DK, kind of. Oh, losing the engine of war would be a disaster. Would be a disaster. DK's got coils to kill the wisps. Dude, what is even going on? I wonder if Sheik's getting nervous. He knows he's got a big lead this game. There's one more wisp going down. At least the Ancient of War survived, though. This would have been bad. Oh, he got 50 experience. That means if he creeps this camp, this is enough for level 2. Kind of trying to heal. This is, a, this is a really good start. This is a sensational start for Sheik. Moon needs to work some magic. And is he going Gargs? Yes. The Keeper, of course, does better against Gargs than the Demon. He can attack air. Oh, bro. Imagine if he saw this. Oh, is he gonna check? There's a window here to cancel this expansion. Sheik sees it super early. Now he knows. He's got a couple of ghouls. So Moon is doing the right thing. He knows it's gonna be Gargs, and he's expanding early. That's what you have to do. Now he needs mass dryads on tier 2. And obviously, get up the expansion. Oh, here are the ghouls. Okay. DK, starting to put in the damage. Super early attack upgrade, by the way. There's still no treants on this keeper. Oh, the ghoul's getting distracted by a wisp. And that means this tree will finish. That's a bit unfortunate. Is he trying to go for a tavern hero? Naga? Dark Ranger? Dude, that's genius. He can just creep this camp, get the skellies, and that means no expansion for Moon. Dark Ranger second out of freaking nowhere. Of course, very good against archers as well. No dust yet. But now there is. One ghoul goes down. That's finally level 2 for the keeper. But still super far away from level 3. Oh, denies the archer, denies the skelly. Demon Hunter second. I think uh, Sheik is playing a bit too aggro here. Fighting into the moon wells. Oh, I think. Oh, he's giving away his lead. He's giving away his lead right now. Oh, Sheik, no! He could have just crept with the Dark Ranger. Oh, that was. That was not good. He lost all his ghouls. Oh, that was... <sighs> Bro. This could have been 2-0, maybe. He could have crept this camp first, get four skellies, then creep this camp next. That's level 2. Dark Ranger, probably. Oh, man. And, of course, the Dark Ranger was very good in that moment, but she will get weaker and weaker later on with Dryads. Wait! It's Hippogriffs! Dark Ranger also going to be simple groups, of course. Oh, Sheik needs to be there. He needs to be there to harass right now. Time is of the essence. We got more.
Demogog's coming. In the shop, finally. But the expansion is cleared. Moon's gonna get up to two base, and that's the most important thing. Oh, Sheik, my man. Dude, if he had just crept. He could have had like 10 skellies. There would have never been an expansion. Thor is, by the way, here working against the gargoyles in the air battle. Sheik is gonna get the item. Well, the last boots. Oh! Oh! Lagu! Oh, Jesus Christ. A player's forces are under attack. He has to TP out. Got the Quethalas. He can give that to the Dark Ranger. Bro! He could have won this game! He could have won it. He could have won it. But now, with the expansion about to be finished, this is where things change. Maybe Naga's second would have been better. Would have allowed him to get the archer killed more easily. There's the fountain. He can heal up after. That's very nice for the demon specifically. Moon just in the main base, still looking decent. Ah, oh, dude, what a shame. <laughs> Sheik, man. Oh, that was such a sick throw. That was such a sick throw, man. Oh. All right, and Moon beginning to go for hit and run. His favorite tactic. trying to go for the counterattack, but Gargs are not very good at destroying buildings. Neither are Hippo Riders. But we have plenty of them up here. Oh, the gold mine is falling. Oh, and I wonder if Sheik's getting frustrated. He must know how far ahead he was. Heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. On the gold mine down. Sheik is dead broke. Perhaps she can get the expansion, but he's got no more income. And that's what we call checkmate. If he sells a whole lot of items, maybe he can re-establish it. But that's a maybe. More hippos queued. <laughs> Life drain. <laughs> Against the hippos. <laughs> Not very effective, but trying its best. The gargs are winning the air battle. I think the micro here by Moon was pretty poor. Also, you don't want to have hippo riders against gargs. Hippo riders very bad. But there's still no income. Now perhaps the superior numbers on Moon. There we go. He finally unloads. Now got level three. And now the production just wins out for Moon. Takes out all the goggles, and will tie up the series. Oh, poor Sheik. Poor Sheik, dude.
Keeper is uh, actually in quite a bit of trouble here. Once the demon is back, this should all be cleared up. Moon well. Oh. Forgetting about the moon well a bit. Sold some items. Alright, he's trying to remake the haunted. One more tangle. Alright, we got one more acolyte again, guys. We can unsummon one of the crypts. The altar. Alright. A new haunted is coming. Killer, right? Just follow with the keeper, get ready for the next entangle. Oh, nice block. Good movement. Moon gets the hero kill and Cheek finally throws in the towel. Moon wins. But Cheek was so close. He was so close. Oh, man, he should have had that game. Oh, that's a loss you will not soon forget if you're chic. Oh, damn, dude. Damn. That was a giga throw. Serious or over yet, though. Sheik can still win. But as far as the mental is concerned, Moon now way ahead. Alright, last map of the day. Ted Cup 13, Group C. Sock earlier took first place with convincing play, especially against Sheik. And Sheik is the sensation of the day. Beating Moon on three maps already. Can he do it one more time? To get second place. Or is Moon barely gonna squeak across the finish line? I think Equile is a map that suits Sheik quite nicely. It's good for cheese, it's good for expansion, it's good for weirdness. Maybe some mercenaries. we're gonna see this time should be a keeper when you play demon hunter you go for the merc camp creep first and what's she gonna do oh, okay could also be demon hunter I just realized yeah demon hunter is very good against fast expansion nowadays DK Against Demon. Alright. A player's forces are under attack. Moon has the Wisp Scout in position. This Wisp might be very important. Ah! 
Gloves of haste, bad start. That's the worst item for the demon nowadays. She casts a skull. Doesn't have to be an expansion. Could be a fake expansion. And here's the demoner running across the map. Gotta go immolation for sure. But there's no acolyte here. Did you forget about the acolyte? Alright, she gets the big creep, but the demon hunter is here, ready to tango. With the immolation. Yeah, this just doesn't work, man. Against immolation nowadays, this does not work. Oh, Sheik seems almost resigned. Demon getting the ghoul kill here. Checks out the main, sees no tech. Got a level 2 as well somehow. Acolyte kill here. Ooh. Moon now in full control. Goes evasion. Not mana burn. Weird. She is trying to brute force this expansion, but Moon now has two archers here, two more on the way. Wisps in tow. DK still on level two. That was that they didn't do too much though. And the DK will finally get level 2. Now he's got the aura. That changes everything. Moon is counter expanding. Alright. Oh wow, his tech is so late, by the way. My lordy. Expo cancelled. Expo cancelled. Tech instead. That's plan B. Oh, and there's no dust either, so the archers can just shadow meld. Oh, man. Moon putting on a clinic now. Yeah. Oh, the DK is surrounded! In this archer surround. <laughs> Oh, it would be funny if it wouldn't be so sad. GG. Moon does make it in the end. It's a five minute game for the last match of the day. And Moon and Sock, the two favorites, make it through. But Sheik made it a hell of a day. A hell of a challenge. And amazing games. Sheik, if you're watching this VOD by any chance, uh... Kudos, shout out man, really good games. Very well done. I hope Sheik isn't too upset with himself. Because he had it! He had it! That second map could have been his. That was a... Uh, a throw of epic proportions. But sometimes that happens. But the main takeaway is, Sheik is super competitive, brought amazing games, very unusual strats. Just at times, you know, making a few errors, as we all do as mere mortals. Almost! We almost had the big upset. Almost, but okay. Moon is our winner in the end. Moon and Sock advance. Three out of four groups now are done in the Ted Cup 13. Let's take a look at the grid. Group A, we saw Happy and Foggy advancing, especially Happy there, the standout player. Group B, Focus and Ice Orc make it through, the two Korean Orcs. Focus looked extremely strong in his games, just like in Ted Cup 12, where Focus also looked really good. And then today, of course, it was Sock and Moon, but Moon barely <laughs> was able to scratch and claw beyond the finish line. So we've got one more group left to be played. It's going to be Group D. Not played tomorrow, by the way. Um, 
it is going to be played on Tuesday. Ted Cup continues on Tuesday with Lynn Colorful, Sini, and Lawlight. And by the way, we already have a few pairings for the second group stage. Happy's in Group A, and Sock and Soen are going to be facing there as well. And then Happy is going to play second place of Group D. I think. I think that's how it works. And Moon versus Focus, ooh, it's also going to be a sick game. Hells yeah. Hells to the yeah. All right. Like I said, Ted Cup continues next week on Tuesday. There it's going to be Neo for you guys. And I'm going to be back on... When am I going to be back? Wednesday, I think. Yeah. All right, um, so I say goodbye now to you, dear folks. Like I said, I'm going to be back on Wednesday, but Neo's going to be back on Tuesday already for uh, the Ted Cup Group D. And also, Meisterschaft, of course, continues next week with Kevin Schwem and many of our favorites. So I wish you guys a very wonderful weekend. And thank you, Lachen und Lernen mit Leon. <laughs> Great nickname with the resub. And yeah. And Neo saying uh, he may stream some Flow TV games. All right. Um, so perhaps Neo is going to bless you guys with some additional content as well. Get that content in. Group D is tomorrow? I don't think it is. Okay, I'll ask again. But in the group, they said Tuesday. But if it is tomorrow, I'm going to be here. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.